Hi, welcome back to Messy Tea with Tay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. It looks like Shani O'Neill Henderson's husband, Pastor Keon Henderson, is under fire once again for some of his questionable teachings he made during one of his recent sermons. If you don't know exactly what Pastor Keon Henderson said, here's a clip of his sermon problem with the church is that anytime a person is in need, y'all go to running and dropping money. But let me tell you something, the poor will be with you always. And there is no blessing connected to blessing the poor other than getting back what you gave to them, but no multiplication. <laughs> multiplication is segregated for tithes and offering. When you give to the poor, the only thing you do is help them, but you don't help yourself. So when you give a dollar to somebody on the street talking about I did my job, God like, thank you, but it ain't going to help you. Bible. Charity does not bring wealth. What? Yeah. Only the tithe does that. Yeah. Matter of fact, you don't believe me? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to preach on it. Here's the other if you have been so yes guys as you just heard pastor Keon say there's no blessing in helping the poor and it seemed like a lot of people took issue with that and here are some of the comments that were being left underneath the post one person commented shani's husband wants people to give to him not the poor she better watch out for him Someone else said, by Christmas, we'll hear Pastor Keon charging $10 at the door and 20 without ID. A third person said, yeah, I don't know what old boy was talking about. Help them people in need. You will be blessed beyond measures. Plus, this is not one of the first questionable teachings from Pastor Keon Henderson. He was recently also put on blast for asking his congregation to come up with over four million dollars here's a clip of that teaching that we were going to start over and yet again i believe god said keon your faith was too small so let me blow the building down so you can build what i put in your heart god gave me a vision and he said we can do it in 21 days I'm asking 2,100 people to give $2,100 in the next 21 days. I'd ask 2,100 people to give $2,100. And the newspaper did the math and they said, Pastor Henderson asked his 20,000 members for $4.4 million. Let me even make sure that that's what it equals because I hadn't even done the math yet. Yeah, it's 4.4. I hadn't done the math. It was what God had given me. What I forgot to do that I'm going to do right now is remind myself that everybody doesn't have $2,100. And the Lord convicted me on that. And I went back and I prayed about it. And I want to apologize for not offering an opportunity for people who don't have it like that. Everybody doesn't have $2,100. The Lord said, but somebody has $21. And if you go back and read the article, they'll tell you that the building was $20 million. So what does $4 million do when you have a $20 million problem? I told our church. It looks like Pastor Jamal Bryant did not agree with some of Pastor Ken Henderson's teachings. So in one of his recent sermons, this is what he had to say. If you have been a blessing to other people, even when you didn't have a whole lot yourself. And I got to clear something up. I got to clear something up. It is a blessing when you do something for the poor. Uh, it's a blessing when you do something for the poor. The Bible says that when you give to the poor, it is as if you are lending to the Lord. So, yes, guys, go ahead and drop some comments for me down below, letting me know your thoughts on what Pastor Keon Henderson had to say about helping out the poor.
And what do you guys think about Pastor Jamal's rebuttal for Pastor Keon Henderson? Thanks for tuning in to Messy Tea with Tate. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Thanks.